Let's go to our Bodies folder and right-click on Head and select Unselectable. Zooming in. And let's now enter Sketch Mode by selecting Arc, 3-point Arc. Now for the Sketch Plane, selecting our XY Plane. Let's now create an Arc. Left-click here and left-click here. And left-click here. And going to constraints, selecting horizontal vertical, selecting this point and this point to align them horizontally, selecting the center point and our origin, align them vertically. Next, hitting S and selecting three point arc, creating an arc here. And Left click here, hitting escape, selecting horizontal vertical, selecting this one and this one, and selecting the center point and our origin, hitting escape, hitting S to grab our three point arc once more, selecting this point and this point, create an arc here. This point and this point, creating an arc here. Hitting escape, going to our constraints and selecting tangent. Selecting this arc and this arc, this arc and this arc. Hitting escape. Next, let's make this arc, left click, and this arc, control left click, right click, and make them both equal. Hitting escape, let's now align this one, let's see. Horizontal vertical, selecting this point and this point. So I'm gonna hit undo twice. And instead go to constraints once more, select tangent. Select this arc and this arc, this arc and this arc. Awesome, hitting escape. And let's now grab our dimension, hitting D. Left click this arc, keying in 30. And this arc, keying in 10. And this arc, I'm gonna key in 50.5. Hitting enter. And hitting escape. Hitting D once more. Let's just dimension this one and this one. I'm going to key in 35.5, hitting enter, hitting escape, and selecting stop sketch. Now I'm going to go to our modify tools, selecting split face. The face to split is this face, but first we need to right click, we need to go back to head. To make this selectable, so I'm going to hit cancel, right click on head and select selectable. Going back to modify and selecting split face, selecting this faces and this face. Activating splitting tool and selecting this sketch. Extend splitting tool. And hit OK. Now from here, I can select this face and hit delete. And this face hitting delete in order to retain this face only. Next, I'm going to go and change our workspace to patch. And under create, selecting offset. Now for the face, we're going to select this face and I'm going to uncheck chain selection, selecting this face, this face, and this face. So three selected and the distance, I'm going to retain it to zero and finally hit OK. So we now have body 9, which is a surface. 
I'm going to turn off the visibility of head. Next, I'm going to create and select patch. Make sure it's enable chaining, selecting this edge. And continuity to be connected, operation, new body, and hit OK. And now going to modify and selecting stitch, creating a window selection. Now leave the defaults and hit OK. And let's rename this body as Visor. Hitting Enter. And turning on Head. Next, going back to Model Workspace. Going to Modify. And select Combine. Now for the target body, it will be the head and the tool body to be our visor. Now the operation to be cut and hit OK. Now we need to retain the visor, so I'm going to go to Combine, right click and select Edit Feature. And I'm going to check Keep Tools. Hitting OK. Awesome. 